Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Friends, in this video we will discuss solar power inverter It is 300 VA Its wave shape is like this It takes 12 volt input DC from battery, from solar and it converts into AC signal 220 volt 50 hertz inverter that means we apply a DC signal and it will convert into AC signal we apply 12 volt and it will give 230 volt or 220 volt RMS that means AC volt at 60 Hertz or 50 Hertz so output may be 230 or 220 at 50 or 60 Hertz in different uh, circuits so let's start in the part 1 of this video we will discuss just only the block diagram of this inverter the configuration of this circuit as I said it will receive 12 volt DC so let's draw the first stage positive negative 12 volt input circuit as we know in any input circuit there must be a safety what is that a fuse the first safety here we have input terminal positive and negative this negative terminal if we see this negative terminal from here to this side it is connected to this bar this metal bar so that means the negative bar is connected to these switches here we have MOSFETs that are used to switch these transformers okay negative is connect distributed to all the switching circuit and if we see positive positive is passing from this terminal to this point these four parallel points here these are four fuses one two three four so here we have fuse because it is a DC circuit we are applying DC circuit DC input so might be these cables are swept at battery terminal positive should be connected to positive black should be connected to negative if these cables are reversed in polarity so positive will go to negative and negative black lead will go to the positive terminal so it may damage the circuit so pro to protect any possible damage there is a protection diode two diodes are here one and two the second diode I removed it for test purpose because this inverter it was damaged so at the input terminal we have protection diode I will connect just only one diode, diode these two are in parallel so we have a fuse here maybe the circuit configuration in some inverters might be some different but the basic working principle will remain same it have to convert DC voltage into AC voltage from this 12 volt if it is 12 volt that's okay if it is 24 volt then it it can use some other configuration but the working principle will remain same the positive side after fuse it is connected to the first transformer the transformer have one pin two three four five six seven seven pins in primary the second transformer have also seven pins but the positive line is connected to first transformer and second transformer so we have two transformers in parallel to reduce the transformer core size so it is using two transformers same transformer same core size in parallel so we have one and two transformers 
so it is called voltage booster section so this DC voltage will reach to voltage booster section so this section will enhance the voltage increase the voltage here we have just only 12 volt maybe 8 to 14 volt 15 16 volt minimum to maximum so this section will increase these voltage about 400 volts in some circuits 400 in some circuits 330 volt that will depend on the output switching circuit for a normal seeing I will say we will receive 330 volt DC what is in this circuit here we have a transformer we have center taped input these positive voltage are applied to this transformer and this side the both sides are connected to MOSFETs transistors this and this it will take drive and it will take drive two drives will drive because it is push pull topology so emitters are connected to ground where is the ground here so this ground will connect it to this switch what will happen the controller IC the PWM controller will switch this transistor and this transistor vice versa if it is on it will off it is on it will off these will work opposite to each other to produce more power so the current will flow in the primary in bidirectional in this way and resonant current plus this circuit will work with the second transistor from this voltage then we have output switch here these voltage are AC and then it is rectified connected to this capacitor and these DC voltage will reach here and here we will receive these outputs sometime here is H bridge full bridge and sometime here is half bridge so this output switch it have to sample these voltage at 60 Hertz because here we have DC voltage here we will take AC voltage so it is just only switch for 60 Hertz 50 or 60 Hertz now here we have MOSFET transistor what is soever IGBT what is soever so it will drive the output we will discuss every circuit in detail part by part so here we have a switching IC okay let's see as I discussed here we have transformer and here we have MOSFETs transistors if you look in this primary one and two two poles of the primary winding are connected to this MOSFET and this MOSFET so first two MOSFET will drive first transformer primary side then the second pole of this center taped winding is connected to the second two MOSFETs one and two so four MOSFETs will drive this transformer two MOSFETs will drive each part of the winding and the second transformer have also four MOSFETs two for one side two MOSFETs for second side so these four MOSFETs will switch one by one I show just only one MOSFET here so two MOSFETs in parallel will connect it to each other here so these will take a parallel drive two MOSFETs here two MOSFETs here four MOSFETs will drive one transformer so I am just only showing one transformer because the output of both transformers is connected to the same rectifiers here as I discussed here we have rectifiers so here we have rectifiers and here we have capacitor so these charged voltage will reach to this output switch one two three four four MOSFETs are here now as I discussed here here I have TL494 this IC will drive these MOSFETs four MOSFETs will work together 
the first pair and the second transformer first pair these four will switch together and then these one two and two four these four will work together so these will switch in push pull combination so this tl494 will drive this circuit so it is to operate it has to boost the voltage 12 volt to 300 volt 300 plus volt for this tl494 it have a feedback circuit that is from here it is feedback to control the voltage so it will drive these transistors so it will maintain the voltage here what is the required voltage okay then we have an other output switch here that is also TL494 or 7500KA it is the same one IC and the second IC so these two ICs this is for input for voltage booster and this is for output for 60 Hertz switching so it will switch around 100 kilohertz or plus and it will switch at 60 hertz so it have to sample the voltage and it have to switch the voltage for voltage boosting so it will drive these transistors in this combination this circuit is complete but to make it very smart and full functional there is a microcontroller it is a programmed IC it will check different parameters of the circuit for smooth functioning so it will check the input voltage it will check the output voltage and it will check the circuit temperature here it will monitor the temperature and it will check the output current there is a current sensor resistor here so it will monitor the output current then from the voltage booster section it will check the input current i input input current output current input voltage output voltage different parameters it will check so this ic is here and it will give different beeps to monitor the circuit and it have some LEDs here then it have a 5 volt USB that is an additional option in this converter this inverter what is that it will take 12 volt from here and here it is it have a buck regulator and it will give 5 volt USB for mobile charging that is an additional option so this is the total circuit this is the part one of our this video and we will continue all the parts and we will explore and we will check the working function and every signal in our upcoming videos we will continue it i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it if you have any question please let me know in the comment box i will welcome thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh